Hi, I'm Rory and welcome along to this studio short video. Today we're going to take a quick look at accessing reports via the native client. So here I am in the native client and I can click on this com report document icon here and do new logging window. This will show me a list of everything that's happened on the system. And obviously this is a lot of information, so we could do with filtering this down to something that's a bit more relevant to us. Fortunately, that's really easy to do. We'll do it using a filter, so we'll click here on the plus to create a new filter, and I'm going to call it Conversations. And press OK. Now to access the extended filter settings, I simply press the little down arrows. So here I have a drop down I can choose from the various hours, days, weeks. I'll just choose days for now, and then the last day is fine. I want to search specifically on the message column here. So I'll press New under Filters. By default, it's chosen Source, which is this column. So we'll change this to Message. And then Begins With is obviously the first few words in the message. So we'll change this to Contains. And then I'll set this to Conversation. OK, when I'm ready, I press the tick here to apply the filter and then the play button here to apply the filter again. As you can see, that has now filtered down so I can see just specific conversations, when they've started and when they've ended, along with the time and some various other information. If you want to, say, do something a bit different, you could use barriers. For example, I've already created a barrier activity filter here, so we could choose this one and press apply. And here we can see every time the barrier was raised, just in the last two hours. So let's go back to conversations quickly. Now for your final report, you might not want all of these columns. So it's really easy to choose the ones you want. Just simply right click and select show column chooser. Now the columns that you don't want, simply place them in it as if it was a bin. So let's just reduce this down so that we just have time and message. I'll close this. Now, if I would like to actually make a report from this, I simply press the report button down here on the bottom right. This loads a very similar looking window. We've already done our settings, so all we simply press is execute. As you can see, this has created a document that contains that information. Brilliant. OK, if we want to export this, there are numerous file formats that we can use, PDF, HTML, or even Excel. I'll choose Excel for now. I'll leave the settings as default and just press OK. It will ask us where we want to save it and to give it a file name. So we'll save it there and that's fine. And we'll call it Conversations and save. It will ask if we want to open the file. So we'll say yes and we'll have a look. So as you can see, all of the data is placed here into specific columns. So now if you needed to convert it into a graph, it would be easy to do so.